Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about white spots on your teeth. And before we jump in, if you ever have a specific dental question, type your question into Google and then type teeth talk at the end and then you'll find a video or article of me explaining the answer. Okay, so maybe you have white spots on your teeth or maybe you've noticed them on someone else, whatever the case. The thing about white spots is that they generally mean that the tooth enamel is a bit weaker in those areas. And these white spots, this weakened enamel, could be showing up on your teeth for various different reasons. One reason being poor dental hygiene, specifically during braces. I've seen lots of people who get their braces off and now all of a sudden there's white spots all over their teeth where their brackets once were. Was it the braces themselves that caused these spots? No, it's actually from a lack of proper, thorough cleaning, brushing and flossing, around your teeth and braces each day because because without proper daily home care, plaque starts to eat away at the tooth in those areas. That's why you might see these white circles once your braces are taken off. Another reason you may see white spots on your teeth can be from demineralization. In general, simply said, demineralization is the first stage of tooth decay, the start of a cavity. But before decay appears dark, like most people recognize a cavity looking dark, oftentimes it first looks chalky white when the outer layer of enamel starts to deteriorate and lose minerals which makes it weak and compromises its integrity. So for people with braces, this demineralization usually happens around the brackets. But for people without braces, if you just have poor home care in general, or if you're super cavity prone, these white spots can happen anywhere on your teeth, but most commonly along the gum line or in the chewing surfaces of your molars. It just depends on how much plaque there is and how long it stays on your teeth and how good you are at brushing and flossing it all off. In either case, whether it's from braces or not, you'll want to start a fluoride regimen ASAP, fluoride toothpaste, fluoride mouthwash, even ask your dentist if they think you would benefit from a prescription fluoride toothpaste as well. Because with fluoride, you can actually reverse early signs of tooth decay, AKA white spots. It won't make the white spots go away, but it will help prevent these white spots from ever turning into a full blown dark cavity. A few more reasons you may notice white spots. One reason can be from dry mouth, AKA xerostomia. When you don't have enough saliva, it allows plaque bacteria and acids to work in overdrive. As a result, putting you at a significantly higher risk of demineralization again, which we just said gives you white spots. So dry mouth can be from taking certain medications. It can be from mouth breathing when you sleep. There's a whole bunch of reasons people suffer from dry mouth. So to treat it, best to find out the cause with your dentist and or physician so you can properly treat it, which will in turn help stop the white spots from forming. These last two reasons that you might notice white spots are pretty rare. Well, not always rare, but they wouldn't just pop up out of nowhere if that makes sense. So like you would have these when you were a kid, you'd already be aware of it. One is enamel hypoplasia. This generally occurs when the teeth are still forming and it can happen to both baby teeth and adult teeth. But what it does is it causes thinner enamel, which is more prone to tooth decay. And depending on the type of defect it is, it can be congenital or due to a specific medical syndrome. And it can also be linked to vitamin deficiencies, childhood illnesses, health habits of the mother during pregnancy. And the thing about hypoplasia is that the white spots are not normal, smooth, glossy white spots. They are more pitted and soft in a sense. So they often need to be restored with fillings or crowns depending on the severity. And the last one is fluorosis. Just as you can have too little of a vitamin or mineral, you can also have too much of one as well. So with fluorosis, this is when an excessive amount amount of fluoride was ingested during tooth and bone development. Could it have been that you ate, you ingested a bunch of tubes of toothpaste as a kid, like you ate toothpaste as a meal? Sure, it could happen, it's rare. But also rare, fluorosis can also be related to drinking well water and or water with abnormally high mineral levels. And don't worry, this wouldn't be a one-time thing. If you had one glass of super mineralized water once, you're not going to get fluorosis. It's over a long period of time kind of thing, like if you grew up drinking it every day. Working with your soil and water district can help you test the water to make sure it's healthy. But back in 2011, the EPA actually reviewed all of its rules on the upper limit of fluoride and other minerals in drinking water. So it really shouldn't be a thing in most areas nowadays, but it's worth mentioning. So in all, to recap, please remember that there is a difference between white spots that have been on your teeth since childhood and white spots that are newly developed. If you are starting to notice white spots where there used to not be any, be sure to bring it up with your dentist if they haven't already brought it up to you. I've personally had patients randomly start to develop white spots and and more often than not, it's because they switched to a fluoride-free toothpaste. So their teeth weren't being protected against demineralization anymore. Thus, the white spots formed. So just something to mention, something to think about before you ever switch to a fluoride-free toothpaste. Always talk about the pros and cons with your individual dental provider. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on those notifications if it did. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.